is livening up. It's not the same as it was uh, 20 years ago. A business holds its grand opening in a part of Sacramento, working to revitalize its image. The Del Paso neighborhood has been trying to bring shops, restaurants, and hotels back to the boulevard for years. And the latest opening is another positive sign of progress. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Belay is live along Del Paso Boulevard in Sacramento with more on this. Drew? Yeah, well, it's a bit foggy tonight, but behind me is Woodlake Tavern. It's a restaurant that really is a success story for the boulevard so far. Since they've opened, they've gotten high reviews, high remarks, and they're drawing in a large crowd. And as I mentioned, they're just one success story. As more businesses open, all these owners are hoping that this will create some positive momentum heading into 2018. A bustling brewery is the newest addition. We mash right in here to Del Paso Boulevard. This is an exciting time for me and the boulevard. Kong Wen held the grand opening for his business, King Kong Brewing Company, amid much fanfare. This is an amazing feeling for me, and it's been worth every moment. I think positive foot traffic is going to do wonders for Del Paso Boulevard. Councilmember Alan Warren says others will follow Kong and take advantage of the available infrastructure. It's really an opportunity for entrepreneurs and other people that want to start their business or relocate. Empty lots like this one are being bought up fast. Commerce is coming to Del Paso Boulevard. Grocery Outlet got their permits today to build here. We are going to be, you know, blooming very, very quickly in a very short time. Larry Groves with the Del Paso Boulevard yeah, Partnership says yeah, nearly yeah, a yeah, dozen yeah, businesses yeah. will either open or break ground in the next year. But they're still working to reverse the stigma of Del Paso being detached from the rest of the city and full of crime. We are very reasonable in price. Other lifelong residents have seen the change. It was all empty. Anthony Scott remembers 10 years ago when cars would speed through the area. Now he sees more people stopping and shopping. This is a place you want to live in, a place you want to be. Being surrounded by all those people tonight inside that brewery, you really felt a wave of positivity coming over the Del Paso area. And many of these business owners hope that all these new businesses will make it a destination for 2018. Yeah, nice to see good things happening on Del Paso. Thank you so much, Drew.